Hello everyone, welcome back to uh, my YouTube channel and uh, for the games to be casted that I post here. We're going to quickly uh, jump into a game here between SS and Molby Rush. Um, we'll uh, switch into Capture Age. There we go. Alright, SS is uh, <clears throat> playing as Japanese, Molby Russia is playing as Saracens, let's see what strats they go for. It's a four lakes, the map, so you have the opportunity to dock. Saracens is also a good sieve, Japanese is also a good sieve, a water sieve. Saracens, I believe, uh, have faster fishing ships, I believe. I'm not too sure about their uh, their bonus, but I know that they have a naval bonus. They, they are also a nav naval sieve. And so, and Japanese, on the other hand, have very strong fishing ships. I think they have more armor. So it's hard to uh, kill them. Both players are scouting right now. SS scouting with the sheep and his scout while Olvi Rush is also scouting with one sheep and his scout. So he sees his uh, his goals are in the back a bit on the side, not too much exposed, but the berries are a bit exposed for Olvi Rush. Saracens have a good market, of course, they get better. Uh, uh, they get better uh, rates in the market uh, than any other sieve for selling or buying. SS is now scouting outwards, trying to see what else he's got going. Now in this uh, fog of war you can see that you you can see um, the, the lighter area is what has been scouted. And the darker area which has not been scouted. We can always switch into the players to see what they what they have scouted. So here SS's scouting is very good. He has scouted already uh, most of his closed in map. And we go here. Somehow see the scouting of Molby Rush. You can switch the size on the screen, but for some reason I'm not able to see what Molby Rush has scouted alone. I'll have to work on that. Anyhow. One boar in, second one coming in. Is he almost done with that boar? Not too sure. Still has about 30 food left on it, which is okay, I guess. Hello? SS is going for his second boar as well. That boar taken a bit outside. Still has some food on it. Six wheels on wood. For SS. Molvi is going for a forward wood line. When he has a back wood line, maybe this was a better option. And uh, he does see that. I mean, his scout has seen that. So it's not. Uh, not like he doesn't know about it. That's a good mill position because he has three, at least three deer in front of it. He 
can easily mill these uh, these, rear, these deer at the same time. I think you should go for that. As is going forward with the villagers, these guys are very close. Docked, as is docked to get some fish uh, eco going. Uh, Molvi has not yet. Taking a corner wood line. Again, I don't know why he didn't go for the back wood line. He should have gone for that. He should could have gone for that and that. Both, both going for four wood lines, sort of. SS wood line is kind of hidden because it's like on the side, so I guess it's hard to pick that one off. Barracks are up for all we rush. So, what build is he going for? He got three here, he got roughly seven on, on wood, seven on sheep, three on gold, and berries about four. That's not a lot on wood though, if he's gonna go for archer build, but it looks like it does not go for... He's not gonna go for archer build. SS has clicked up onto Feudal Age and he's walling up on this side to... Safeguard his... Uh, his corner with his... Uh, uh, eco for the fish also. That'll be safe as well if he walls up all the way there. We have Palisade walls are coming up. Yeah, as Saracens, I think Archer play is not bad. You can go for Archer, but he's low on the wood. Um, all we has to go a bit more on the wood. Roughly around 11 wills on wood before you click up to Feudal, I think. That's the the proper uh, build order to start pumping out Archers and at least 8 on gold uh, once you hit... Once you hit uh, Feudal Age, uh, you should go for 8 on gold and then start making farms with the remaining. Alright. So he's uh, maybe going for a night build, but then even if you're going for a night build, you still have. To start off with uh, some farms uh, to go fast castle into knights, you should have at least one or two dark age farms to give you a boost. But then again, he has this deer, he should take this deer. This is four deer right here, and he's, it's right next to his mill. So maybe a couple villagers on the deer would really, really boost up his, uh, his chances. He's stonewalling up, big, big stonewalls coming up right next to. <laughs> As this is uh, Palisade Walls, this could get interesting. But I think Fish Eco is a huge boost, and as this probably won't make any farms, I think it will stick to his fishing uh, ships. There's a dog there, so he's gonna dock that pond and take that fish as well. This is free food, so to say. Uh, you just need to make some fishing ships, and you can take care of all these. All this fish, 225 each, uh, each of uh, these uh, these fish, salmon fish. Wow. Yeah, you see, so the ranges are coming up. So if you want to go archers, you should definitely make sure that, that in the that beginning one? you have uh, around 10 to 11 on on wood minimum, and then you can. Also, put uh, you have to put at around eight on gold, and then the remaining will just start making farms so that you could go into uh, go into Castle Age quicker while you pump out the the villagers and the archers rather. Um, so as you can see, the idle eco time for only rush is much higher. Idle TC time is much higher. SSS Japanese has uh, only 37 seconds of idle TC time. 
first see with this uh, three three minute and uh, 47 48 seconds as this CC is constantly idle I think Wow huge walls huge huge walls are coming up for for uh, fuzzy look at the map that is huge I think it will be hard to defend maybe I mean might as well just uh, do tree line to tree line to save some uh, some stone I think that might be a better idea there you go archers are out <coughs> try and harass his wood line I guess has just put palace it was and then he has put houses behind it and as I sees that he's gonna come with archers so he's making skirms already very heavy on the gold the fishing ships are taking care of the, of the food <coughs> harassing a bit of a wood line but uh, SS has enough, a lot of wood I think he has this one here as well so Archers from uh, Saracens have a bonus on this building so they can take down buildings pretty quickly. comes out with skirms that's uh, quite a bit of archers there but skirms should I think take care of them four plus one on the range plus he backs out he doesn't want to take the fight which is understandable I think he should build up his archer numbers maybe and then uh, include some light cap with it that should do the trick Sold a lot of stone. Hmm. SS is in Castle Age. Pussy is not yet. Pussy uh, as in uh, Moldbrush. I'll just call him Pussy. That's a, that's a funny name he got there. Moldbrush. Moldy is monk. barracks coming up for SS so I guess he's looking to build up a lot of strong men at arms from Japanese <coughs> excuse me um, stronger uh, attack I think on the on the men at arms university also came up for SS so he's gonna go skirms and uh, men at arms maybe Finally, uh, Fuzzy has uh, docked and started to go after the fish. Whereas uh, SS is uh, fishing on both uh, two ponds there. just uh, camping and building eco <coughs> but uh, Fuzzy is way behind in uh, score mainly because of the eco I would say because SS has a lot of fish eco 
Just gonna lose all these archers here. To the skarms. Better to pull out. Take the hill maybe. And then fight. But those are elite skarms now, so these, these archers will just die to it. So there's no point of fighting here. I think misclick those. is almost imp so I think Fussy uh, is behind he has to I think he was very late in, in making a dog and going for Fishuko he should have gone for Fishuko much earlier villagers coming forward castle in the front called GG is called and uh, because uh, Fuzzy I think he sees that he's very very behind really behind he just calls it uh, calls it uh, GG because he was very late to fish I think and he didn't really make any uh, any progress with his eco his eco was way way, way behind that's it I guess, I guess if you want to make archers and you want to play Saracens as archers, you have to have, um, you gotta play uh, more on wood and gold earlier in Dark Age, and then switch over to light cav maybe because you know that the scums will come. The when the scums come, you switch over to light cav and you build your archer numbers behind because Japanese will play men at arms and Saracens have the archers as a counter. Uh, but the scums will be there to counter the archers, so you can make light cap for that, which is quick. So you have the mobility factor, um, but you gotta have the eco behind it. So the archer build is more like 10 to 11 on wood earlier in Dark Age, around 8 on gold, and then you start pumping out archers in the Feudal Age. But don't lose your numbers, build the archer numbers uh, starting from Feudal Age, and then once you hit Castle Age, you go into Crossbow with light cap. You can uh, try and see if you can. Uh, fight um, in Castle Age, but here it was pretty much a boom, and SS just outboomed Fuzzy by a huge margin. But the thing is, SS didn't have much of a military yet. I know he was dropping a castle and he was coming in, but Fuzzy wasn't. <coughs> excuse me, Fuzzy wasn't too behind on uh, on the food. He was halfway on the gold, but he could have played a bit more into Castle Age with his crossbows and maybe a siege workshop and try to hold on while he booms behind go for a second TC maybe both players went for only one TC and then try and push out uh, while you're going to imp so I'm gonna, I'm... he wasn't in a load of trouble right now but I know that you know it was gonna be sort of uh, a snowball scenario for him but I think maybe just wait up a bit before you call the GG too early because SS really had the economy but he didn't really build the military yet and I know it could have uh, you know it would have been hard for Fussy to win from this position but it wasn't impossible I think if he he had a better composition I think against Japanese because crossbows and light calf could probably counter Japanese um, SS could come up with halberdiers also which also get countered by archers so it really depended on the economy in the beginning I think uh, Fuzzy would have focused if he focused on more on gold and wood and uh, try and build up his archer numbers along with light cav I think he could he could really push in uh, with those with that composition is a better composition what with uh, with uh, Saracens than uh, what Japanese can offer here 
but really you have to have the eco behind it you have to have the the right dark age numbers in order to push with archers so uh, yeah saracens normally should win this against japanese i think i personally think saracens is a very good sieve on uh, four legs with uh, with their fishing ships uh, doing more we'll check that out we'll check out that bonus all right thank you for watching guys